In today's video, I would like to talk about endometriosis and I will discuss the results of two interesting studies. Endometriosis is a chronic inflammatory condition affecting women in uh, their reproductive years and is caused by developing endometrial tissue outside uterine cavity. Among theories uh, regarding development of endometriosis, retrograde menstruation is the most accepted one. The symptoms generally range from mild to severe and depending on the location of the endometriosis, uh, women may experience different symptoms. The main symptoms uh, is the main symptoms are pain, usually manifesting as secondary dysmenorrhea, which is a painful bleeding during period and painful sexual intercourse, uh, cyclical back pain and pelvic pain, and if endometrial tissue affects bladder and bowel, they may uh, experience symptoms uh, relating uh, relating urination and opening bowel fibrosis and adhesion can develop. Uh, drug treatment and surgery are the two options. Uh, most drug treatments work by suppressing ovarian function and uh, our birth control. There is a lack of comparison between drug treatment and therapy, drug treatment, sorry, and uh, surgery. Uh, although there are reports of improved pain control using medical therapy after surgery, uh, however, there is insufficient evidence to confirm whether a combination of drug treatment and surgery has any additional benefit. Factors influencing development of endometriosis includes uh, genetic, immunologic, hormonal, environmental factors. There is a considerable overlap of symptoms uh, with other conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome and pelvic inflammatory condition. The definitive diagnosis can be achieved by laparoscopy. Recently, treating endometriosis with a plant-derived medicines gained attraction. I have looked at two interesting studies. One was published in 2021, and they have tested urolithins A and B, and the study was conducted on mouse. And urolithins are metabolites generated by our intestinal uh, microbiota from elagitanins. Elagitanins are compound called polyphenol, mainly found in fruits such as berries, pomegranates, and walnut. Urolithins were able to reduce the number and size of endometrial tissue without affecting uh, body weight and reproductive cycle of mouse. Uh, and uh, however, the identification of accurate dose without affecting fertility and pregnancy still needs to be examined. The second study was uh, published in 2023. They have tested vanillin, main compound of vanilla, uh, on uh, both mouse model and human cell. Vanillin was able to prevent the growth of endometrial tissue. Uh, and here, the exact therapeutic dose and duration of treatment still needs to be examined. I see you in the next video.